Hey guys, Buffin Game Bad today, bringing another video for our favorite weapon series for our Warzone weapons. And today we have a subscriber requested uh, weapon build here for an AK 74M. Now, we have these basically a mix from Neon. You suggested a nice AK build as well as Ruben. So you had some really similar suggestions. And what I did is I tweaked it slightly uh, for Warzone. So I, I initially I was using essentially what you guys suggested, but I made I had to make some, some tweaks after playing in Warzone to make really the most effective. AK build I could for the 545 rounds if we're going to use it the way you both suggested. So this is Neon and Ruben's uh, hybrid build, I guess we'll call it. But let me go ahead and back out and we'll show the final design here. So really what this is, again, an AK-74M. We have a couple AK videos here coming up because I have been a revisiting this weapon, especially because of, mainly because of you, the subscribers, are suggesting some builds here. Um, so we'll have a 103M video coming up here this week as well. But this is our final design. Let's go ahead and back out. And just take a look at this. So first off, what I'm going to do is I'll take the I'll take the camouflage off this, and we will strip this down to base. So what I'm using here is the Warsaw Blueprint at base. Again, this gives us a nice AK-103 here with a the black polymer buttstock as well as the handguard versus the wooden one that we see on the base AK-47. Um, and then obviously we have a nice clean. 30 round 762 by 39 magazine there as well so compared to the old rustic ak this is a much more modernized looking build the ak which is nice to see at least newer and fresh not the old wood ak-47 version but there's a couple different builds i used for this first off the suppressor i had two wins with this one of the ak 74m builds here i actually wasn't recording for it unfortunately but i'll show you that build i'll show you both builds so again this is mainly for solos i wouldn't suggest using 545 ammunition and anything but solos but you can get away with it in solos the tactical suppressor is a really good option mainly for cosmetic purposes but you're not going to get much range on this regardless so this will save you a little bit extra mobility tactical suppressor again going to keep you off the mini map the cons here are going to be the same as the other ones minus the lightweight but it's going to be ads speed and aim aim walking steadiness so we can select that and then the, most of these attachments are going to be similar here. So what I'll do is, first off, we're going to want the Spetsnaz Elite Barrel. So this is going to assist with damage at range, bullet velocity, the cons being the ADS speed, which we'll make up with elsewhere. Now, there's two choices here. You can go Steel Curtain, Base, obviously, and then Dusk Gripper. So we'll go with the Steel Curtain, give us a nice, more uh, newer-looking M-Lock Gen 2 handguard. Skip out on the laser. Now, for the optic, there's two optics I played, out, played around with here. So first off, we'll go with the APX-5 holographic. Again, this is just a Russian holographic optic here. So precision sight picture, the cons being the ADS speed, as with any optic, because you're adding a little bit extra weight on the dovetail Picatinny mount there. We're going to leave the base stock. No perk, no rear grip. Ammunition, obviously, for this particular one, we're going to want the 545 round. So I'm going to go ahead. You have a few different options here. If you want a, a modernized looking 545 magazine, Black Bear or Duly Devoted. So we'll go with the Duly Devoted. And then for the underbarrel, going to run that Merc 4 grip which is going to assist with the recoil control, hip fire accuracy, the cons being the aim walking movement speed and aim down sight speed. So one thing to note, now that we are selecting 5.5, we're going to have an increased fire rate slightly, as well as the recoil control is going to be easier since it's not going to be as much recoil because we're we're going down from a 7.62 by 39 to a 5.45 by 39. Cons here are the damage decrease, obviously, as well as the range because it's a smaller round. Actually smaller than the 5.56, obviously, although it is more effective than the 5.56. So we'll go ahead and select that. This is one of our final designs here. Again, this is I had a really good win with this. Unfortunately, I wasn't recording it, but I did get a lot of time in with this weapon with the 545. And again, it excels really well in solos. Very good with this optic especially. So the other one that you're going to see here in the gameplay today is I'm going to swap out the tactical suppressor just because there's a lot of instances I feel where the monolithic actually does help because you get that damage at range boost. There's sometimes where I'm hitting people and because we have a weaker round and we're not getting that max damage at range with the barrel we're using... I would lose some of those gunfights. So I switched up to the mono suppressor. Again, this is just going to do the same as the tactical, except you're going to get that damage at range pro as well, which is going to be key here. And then everything else is going to be the same minus the optic. You're going to see me switch up to, as you guys suggested, the monocle reflex sight. Again, this is another Russian red dot sight. Precision sight picture, cons being the aim down sight speed. So one cool thing here is you have the base and then the sand sweeper which is actually going to retain the camouflage that we put on the weapon. So we'll go ahead and select that, as well as with the uh, the duly devoted 5.5 magazine here, it's also going to retain the camouflage. So what we'll do is customize, and the camo I'm going to use here, which you'll see the same camo used with the AK-103M video, is going to be the Angel's camouflage here. Another really good option, though, 
would be that I run a lot is the Woodland. So Modern Woodland also looks really good on this build, I feel, as well. So this is the AK-74M. And again, you can see because we have the optic that we have selected there, as well as the magazine, we retain camouflage. If we were to select a different magazine here for the base, Freedom Fighter, or even the Black Bear, you'll see it's not going to retain the camouflage. So that may be an option you want as well. This is a really good option here for Black Bear. But we want to retain that, at least for my build that I like. I think that looks really aesthetically pleasing. And again, a really nice weapon. And then you can also play around with the reticle if you wanted. I like the base reticle on this monocle reflex slide. I just feel it handles really, really well. So let's go ahead now, jump into the gameplay, and I'll walk you through this solo win with this weapon. Okay, so now here we are in game with our AK-74M or our modernized AK-74. So you see here, this is a really slow start to this game. This was a train drop, and I really haven't even run into any enemies yet, and I've had time to loot and get two loadouts. So at this point, I have my Ghost AK-74M class, as well as I picked up my custom XM-109 build, which I'll be showing off in a video here, and you'll actually see some uh, pretty effective shooting with it in this gameplay here near the end. But again, really slow start. I'm picking somebody up on my heartbeat here after somebody else was killed around here. Someone it looks like someone just dropped in. So there's somebody up on the roof. Again, I'm going to mount this just to be safe. You can see the damage can be a little underwhelming with this, but we we're able to get the headshot there as that guy jumped kind of right into our bullets and take him out. So fast forward a little bit. Again, this is kind of foreshadowing here. You'll see there's a car in the minimap. So I'm just trying to get a better position on him to try and get some shots. And again, I have my XM109 with the 25 mic mic rounds on here that are explosive. So this is really one of my first times using this build in Warzone. Um, we have the Harbinger barrel on here, so I'll go over this build in a different one, but you can see our bullet drop and everything is gonna be pretty pretty big here with this particular attachments that we have, but it's gonna be the best recoil control build. But stay tuned for more gameplay of that. So fast forward again, slow game. I've pushed up and I know there's guys in front of me here at this house. There's a car there on the road and I'm just kind of hanging out here. The wall's pushing in, this guy comes in. You can see they're able to take him out. Horrendous aim. I have, sometimes I have really good aim with this particular optic and then other times really bad aim. The 5.5 rounds are a little weird. Um, this optic, I think for me personally, not the best for getting shots on target. That I need something a little bit more crisp than the red dot we have here on the monocle. So maybe a, a different reticle would be nice, but you can hear all that fire. I'm going to mark targets who are unsuppressed on my minimap. And then right here, you see that guy move up behind that brick and closing right there. So what I'm going to do is try and rotate to him. Because at this point, I'm assuming, I know there's guys where I marked. There's definitely, so they're going to be on my, in front of me. And as well, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's guys on the left by the border of the map. So I'm going to try and slowly creep over to this guy. I know he's there. He didn't go anywhere yet. No one's coming in behind him as far as I can tell and there was no firefights there at the moment So it should be clear to rotate to my right this way. So we're just gonna creep in He's definitely camping behind here So I'm just gonna try and not make any noise and come up and get him and There it takes me a second to see where he is, but again, he's laying down able to get the headshots and take him out there so um, Definitely was key that I crept instead of running. Otherwise, I would have given away my position that I'm coming in, especially if I'm sprinting on that road. It's going to make quite a lot of noise, so we wanted to be really stealthy and quiet. It was a big risk creeping right across the middle of the road. If anybody were to look, I would have been done, uh, but it paid off there, and we were able to get the kill, which is good. So at this point, we're about to close again. Again, I know there's guys on my orange mark to my 12 o'clock. Now I hear fire down here to my left, which I knew there was guys there initially. Quite a lot of fire, so he's got to be low, reloading, maybe armor. And there he is right there, and again, he had a growl, in which case this would, a growl would always beat this build, but I caught him off guard and was able to get those shots on. Now what we're going to do is just rotate. It's 1v1 at this point. I'm not sure where this other guy is. I don't have any cover here, so I'm not in a good spot. So I need to lay down, try and put this hill in front of me a little bit, and replace my armor and get ready to fight here as the circle's going to get ready to close and move. So gonna replace my armor he's got to be somewhere across the street just a matter of locating him as this circle moves and you'll see i'm gonna peek around here looking for him over there somewhere and then there i spot him and i was thinking about getting with the ak but there we go with some nice shooting again with the build we have here very low recoil and pretty accurate at that range just a one hit down and we're able to get the nice one with the XM109 and the AK74M. So I will have another video for the XM109 for you guys. Had some really nice games with this. Uh, 
Really like that build. But again, this is the AK-74M, the modernized AK-74. Um, really good build here. I really like it. Again, this is good for solos. I have run it in duos, but again, you only have a 30-round magazine, and since it's low damage, it's very hard to compete with any other assault rifle in the game. So really the key here is positioning. You really need to outposition your opponent and try to do the best you can to tactically outplay people because you're not going to outgun them in a gunfight. So you really need, it's all, all about position when you're using the AK in Warzone. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, nice little dub there. Let me know what you guys think down below of this AK-74M video. And until next time, Buffering Gaming, out.